Hi and welcome to WEH videos. My name is Skip and this is an updated series on flight planning the navigation log. The reason for this completely revised series is because there were a couple of errors I made in calculating the true air speed when using the pilot operating handbook, the performance chart, which resulted in wrong calculations, mainly for the true air speed. And also in the first series, I didn't complete the entire log. So with that, I will start a new series using the tools that you see here. All right, first off, we are going to need a current sectional chart. We will need a plotter, an E6B flight computer, a POH or a pilot operating handbook for the aircraft that you will be flying. I will be using a Skyhawk 172N and we will be needing a navigation log where we will record all the information that we'll need to complete a flight plan. And to help you with this, I'm also suggesting that you get the Pilot Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge, Chapter 16 on Navigation. And this can help you too. There's a lot of information there that I will not be covering. So I suggest you take a look at that. So let's start with the navigation log. This is what we are going to use to fill out our flight plan. And as you can see, there's a lot of information that needs to be put in here so we can have an accurate and safe flight. So over here we have checkpoints. This is where we're going to put the airport that we're leaving from, our departure airport. We're going to have a waypoint now or places that we want to go to on our route. And then we'll select waypoints along the way to our destination. Here we have VOR frequencies that we will put in here if we use any VORs. And here we'll have a course route and altitude. We'll have wind, direction, and velocity, and air temperature. We'll have our CAS, which is calibrated airspeed and true airspeed. We have true course, true heading, and magnetic heading, and the compass heading and distance and ground speed and time, ETA, and all this other stuff. There's a lot to do in filling out one of these logs. And there's a lot to do and much to cover in this series. So in this first video, we will choose a flight and plot it on a sectional chart. Now I'm going to start with Sky Vector to show you the flight. But then we will figure out a course to take and determine the headings to fly for each leg of the flight using a plotter on a paper sectional chart. In the following videos to come, we will go through a process of getting the information needed and doing the calculations for filling out the navigation log. And we'll be using the E6B flight computer. As you will see in the real world of flying, you don't just jump into the airplane and go in most cases. There are reasons for creating a flight plan and a log. And if you're flying IFR, you would need to file a plan anyway and definitely stick to it. The idea here is to be able to fly a specific route and arrive at each checkpoint according to the plan on time and on course. You know, some flight instructors expect their students to be able to do this and arrive at their destination plus or minus two minutes. So this is very important. So let's start the process by taking a look at this sectional chart. So I'm using skyvector.com right now for this video just to show you the flight that we will be taking for this tutorial. We are going to fly from Calusa down to Sacramento exec. And this flight is going to be pilotage and dead reckoning, which means we're not going to use the GPS and we're not going to use the nav radios other than to help us locate ourselves if necessary. So in order to fly down to Sacramento exec, if we were to take a straight flight, we'd have to go through this airspace and we don't want to do this. The other thing about this type of flying is 
we want good landmarks so when we look out the window we can pretty much tell where we are and so to make this video a little easier because we want to deal with wind correction and things like that I've made this little awkward route but it should work just fine for this purpose so we're gonna add Calusa here to our plan and our first checkpoint is going to be this little town of Arbuckle. These yellow things here are towns and they should be easy to spot. So I'm going to select Arbuckle as our first uh, checkpoint and then we'll continue down here. And the reason we came out here is because we have Highway 5 and the railroad tracks. And if you notice they point almost directly to Sacramento Exec. So that's going to be our first checkpoint. Now notice that over here we have power lines. So if we come down here and go a little past our buckle and just fly down this corridor here between Highway 5 and the power lines, as long as the Highway 5 is on the left and the power lines are on the right, we're not going to get lost. So we still want to pick some nice checkpoints here. And here's a little town of Dunnigan. Dunnigan. We could be looking for that as we flew by. But I like this intersection right here. It's a nice big intersection, easy to spot, and it's visible in X-Plane. So let's add that to our flight plan. We'll make that another checkpoint. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we want to stay out of the Class Charlie airspace. So let's come down this way. And now if we got Highway 5 on the left and 505 on the right, we're still in pretty good shape. And let's get down here to the Watts Woodland Oscar 41 Airport. And we'll use that as a checkpoint. That'll be easy to spot. And then we should continue on down towards the town of Davis will be easy to spot. And then there's always the University EDU Airport we can check out. So let's add that to the plan. And now it looks like we can shoot right over to Sacramento Exec, keeping clear of the airspace. So let's put that in our plan. So there's our flight plan. And I've planned it here with Sky Vector, so you can see how to do it here in case you don't want to follow along with the rest of this video where I'm going to be using the paper sectional chart and I'll be using a plotter to find our distances and the headings we need to take. So if you don't want to go this route with the paper sectional chart then you can take these numbers right here and then you can follow along with the wind correction things that we'll be discussing later. So now let's take a look at the paper sectional chart. So let's zoom in a little bit up in here so we can get a better view of what's going on and start drawing out the routes. So the first thing we want to do is draw a line from Calusa down to Arbuckle. Now we're going to take off and come out about a mile before we make this turn, so I'm going to just draw this line just a little uh, southeast of the airport, so get maybe a little better course or route we want to take. So I'm going to just put the mark right there and then go over the center of town and draw a line. Okay, so there is our first route. Now our second route is from Arbuckle down to the intersection. Okay, there's our routes. Calusa, Arbuckle, Arbuckle to the intersection, intersection to the Watts Woodland, Watts Woodland to Davis, and then we take a shot over to Sac Exec. All right, so now what we want to do is figure out the course we need to fly for each one of these legs. And we're going to do that with our plotter. And I want to show you how to use this. And I'm going to use a different portion of the sectional chart just so you can get a better idea. This is pretty cluttered here and hard to see these lines. So let's take a look at an easier part of the sectional chart to view. All right, so here's a part of the sectional chart that we can use. And you can see the lines a lot better. So we have the longitudinal lines and the latitudinal lines. And what you do, let's just pretend that this is our course that we want to fly, this line right here. So we're going to set the plotter on that line. 
and then we're going to rotate this to point to north and we're going to slide that over to one of those lines and you notice here we have a longitudinal line so let's just slide this down let's get a nice big one there so we're going to set that line up on this line so we get that perfectly and now we line that up the edge of the plotter with our heading or the course we want to fly we rotate this and move it until we have this lined up and now all we have to do is read this for our course that we need to fly our true course and this says 150 if we were going the other way the course would be 320 so that's what we're going to do on the sectional chart for our flight plan all right so let's get the heading we want to fly the true course for our first leg so let's see let's set the plotter here let's use the line here since it's right there so we can set the plotter this way rotate like that until we get the horizontal line on the latitude line set that there yeah, it's, that line is so thick it's really hard to get an accurate reading so let's just go like that and it looks like our heading is going to be 205 degrees for our first leg for our second leg I think we can do the same thing we can rotate that around to that line put it right there raise it up a little bit that's looking pretty good and that looks like a heading of 150 151 degrees so let's get our third leg in here so let's rotate it this way and we're using this longitudinal line right there slide it up a little bit all right that looks pretty good and that looks like a heading of 165 degrees our next leg let's do the same thing we're going to use the longitudinal line right there set the plotter there like so and this is going to be a heading of it looks like 157 degrees and then we have our last one which we do this way use the inner part there and we'll use this line so we need to move it over a little more a little more that looks pretty good and this looks like a heading of 096 degrees so those are the headings we need to fly that's the true course for each one of our legs so I think that's enough for this video we've covered quite a bit here so thank you so much for watching if you like this please click the like button if you would like to leave a comment that would be great thanks again for watching and God bless